Hi, it's Kathy Cross again, and I am back uh, with my YouTube channel, and we are going to talk about what every geriatric care manager needs, which is marketing skills. <laughs> and um, it is a giant dilemma for most geriatric care managers to do this. And why is that? And maybe you've experienced it. Uh, because you have something called an ethical dilemma, and I've talked about this many, many times. Uh, sales and marketing are an anathema to geriatric care managers often because they weren't trained to do it. You've got to serve the top 10% uh, of aging you know, care needers and those people are not who you were prepared to really deal with uh, to sell to. Uh, you were either a nurse or a social worker, I'm a social worker, and we were taught in social work school and in nursing school, I'm not a nurse, but if I went to nursing school, to give things away because you got a paycheck and you gave your services to the person who needed counseling or the person who needed medical care, but you didn't sell it to them, you just went to their room of their house and did it. Um, and so it's a giant dilemma because of that, and also because we're women, and <clears throat> women are hardwired to give things away, or the human race wouldn't even succeed. I say that often. Uh, you throw the babies out the window when they cried all night. <clears throat> you take care of people, we're caregivers, um, and we care for our husbands, we care for our children, we care for our grandchildren, but we don't sell anything to them. And on top of that, only 3.2% of ALCA business, business, business members, and that's the Aging Life Association, have any kind of background in business. We have nursing backgrounds, OT, PT. So you run into this ethical dilemma that you're doing something that is totally against what you know is a human being. You're a woman, you're a nurse, you're a social worker, you're an OT, and it becomes incredibly difficult to switch and sell your nursing services in care management or sell your geriatric care management, social work skills in care management. So this is something that we all have to overcome if we really want to do marketing. Um, and what do we do if somebody doesn't teach us, like I am going to teach you today to handle this? What you're going to do is you're not going to bill for your services. And that's the biggest dilemma that geriatric care managers have, besides not knowing marketing and really hating it, <coughs> is that uh, most of the time what new geriatric care managers will do because of their healthcare background and their social service background is that they will say, oh, that doesn't feel fair to bill for three hours when, you know, <coughs> they really can't afford it and so you only bill for a portion of your time and you really need to bill 85 percent of your hours in order to make a profit in geriatric care management so what happens after people do it for 10 years are a geriatric care manager they go out of business or they just get so frustrated from you know not being able to take a salary not being able to grow the business they leave the business so the important thing is to learn how to market and to learn that you know a geriatric care management business or any business has to be a healthy business and what makes a healthy business is that you basically money is like the blood in a body and money is like the blood of a business and if you don't keep pumping that money through the business, you can't pay your bills, you can't pay yourself, you can't pay your staff. And so a healthy business has a lot of money coming through it. And you chose to do a geriatric care management business or an ALCA business, so you really have to wrap your head around this. And in order to have that healthy business, having that blood money coming through your business, you have to use sales, you have to sell to third parties, which may, means making sales presentations. And the, one of the most important things we're going to talk about today is you must use benefits, not features, to market and sell your business, uh, your geriatric care management business. So 
Um, what I'm going to do today is to talk about sales and marketing as building relationships, which is something you can really understand. Because we build relationships with our patients, we build relationships with our uh, social work clients, with our geriatric care management clients, and you build the same kind of relationship with the third party that you're selling to. And you, you know, most of us are sales phobic, um, just like I talked about being mar marketing pho pho phobic. But you've got to think of this relationship that you build with a third person that you're selling, say an elder law attorney or a trust officer, is you're building a relationship with them just like you do as a social worker or a nurse. So you schedule a marketing meeting. <clears throat> And you do this through your uh, care management marketing database. And that's a whole other um, uh, YouTube uh, episode. But you must have a, a marketing database. And it you know, has all the information about your various third parties. And you, you send them a letter. You schedule a meeting. And you have this face-to-face -face meeting. And what you're doing there is you're establishing a relationship, but you're also est establishing credibility and, um, and a relationship where the person likes you and you like them. And that's really what you're doing when you're a nurse or a social worker. So um, in a sales meeting, you have to know, first of all, how to build a relationship, but second, you have to know what you're selling. <laughs> you have to really know about it and really like it, like what you're selling. And so you have to know the product that that third party really wants to buy. What do they, what, you know, what's the benefit to them? So you, if for instance, if it's an elder law attorney, elder law attorneys usually work with uh, very uh, dysfunctional families and often in conservatorships. Um, and they want to really win in court because conservatorships go to court. And so a written geriatric assessment is something that they would be really <coughs> interested in. You don't, you wouldn't go sell them, say something like, uh, quality of life. An assisted living facility would be interested in that because they deal with, they, they provide all the health care, but they want to keep their clients there. They want to keep their residents there. They don't want them to move out. So improving the quality of life in a facility, like an assisted living facility, is really a benefit to assisted living. But to an attorney, what's really uh, interesting to an attorney and what will give them a benefit is actually a written geriatric assessment that they can use to win in court. So you want to take this wonderful face-to-face -face opportunity uh, to focus on the third-party products that the third party needs. So pick out a product or a couple of products that um, that, that third party would need. And what you're going to use is something called cell sheets that I'll talk about next time. So I will see you next time. And always go to my website, kathycrest.com, and check out my blog and check out more about me.